Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the series on foliage and vegetation in the Unreal Engine. I am your host, John Murna, from Mammoth Interactive. Please be sure to like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. And remember that this is going to be a series on how to use grass in the Unreal Engine. The reason why I'm making this series is because it was really hard to uh, figure out how to use it, but Believe it or not, it's actually really easy to use grass, and I haven't found a good tutorial out there. Okay, so in the last tutorial, we added in some nice grass to the scene here. Now, this isn't usually how we add in grass, okay? Usually, we add in some kind of landscape here. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, this landscape here, uh, instead, uh, or make a landscape in this particular scene here, instead of making a whole new one. So, let's go back to select here. Let's delete one of these walls, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in, um, I'm basically going to add in a landscape here. So again, we go to the, our modes, we go to our landscape here. And as you can see, what this does is that this puts in a landscape. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very small section. And by the way, if you're just starting out in level design, I would start with making something really small. Uh, it's maybe a little too small, but maybe two by two, something like this size first. I would work something with this size uh, before I would go ahead and make something really, really big. If you're, if you're, if you want to make an open world game, start with something really small first and then move, move it. Um, that is maybe the topic for another tutorial. Okay. So as you can see, we now have uh, this landscape here, and I think that's probably pretty good. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and make it one by one. Um, and yeah, okay. Just because I'm going to show you the basics of this first, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and push create, and look at that. We have this nice looking landscape here. Now, I'm going to just simply move it over here, and I'm just going to quickly play this, and sure enough, we can move out. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's move our player here. All right, we'll just move the player here onto the actual landscape. Okay, now remember, you can make this as big or as small as you want, but again, whenever you're learning, I would just work with something really small here. That's why they give you a little test area. Just make something really good in that test area before you start making a really big game, okay? All right, so here we go. Now, there's a couple things that you can do. First is usually what you do with a landscape is you play around with it so that it doesn't look flat because even if you go to plains where there is lots of grass, it tends to be a bit hilly, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and into our landscape here. And then we're going to hop into the Sculpt tab here. And you can see that there's a lot of items here. What we're looking for is the noise here. And what that will do is that will, like, here, I'll, I'll just kind of make, make it really uh, pronounced. So basically, we're going to be manipulating the landscape there. All right. And you can see that you have the strength. So if you bring that up here, you can make it really pronounced. And obviously, you don't want to do that. Now, when it comes to level design and anything in the creative side of game development, subtlety is usually something you want to do and you want to have in your um, in your game. All right. Uh, so, you know, generally, you know, maybe having the strength, you can basically do whatever you want here. But you, you definitely want to do uh, something here. Now, the radius, of course, is the size of it you know for this particular small area this is a decent radius you could probably even do it a little bit different here and then you can change the smoothness or the fall off but nevertheless we're just going to simply add in some noise that's all we're going to do and if we play right you can see that yeah this is starting to look fairly similar here now obviously this kind of moves up here but if you were to go to a grassland area this would be fairly similar to um to what you might actually have here, right? You can see that, by the way, the, the texture on that one cube is not exactly 
accurate, but nevertheless, this is just a simple tutorial. Nothing too complicated, so let's go ahead and let's add in some grass. So what you might be thinking is let's hop back to the foliage editor here, click on the foliage, right? And you're like, okay, well, let me just push the fill button and it doesn't work. Mm. Well, so remember how I said in the last tutorial that you can't just definitely use the, the grass and the fill in all situations? Well, this is another situation. And this is a fairly interesting situation here. So, you know, if you go ahead and push the grass tool, then look at that. There we go. That's starting to look pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the size up a bit because we just want this whole thing populated with grass. Now let's if we kind of hop in there. And you can see that, yeah, that is starting to look pretty good, right? You basically get the grass that you need. And so a couple of things that you can do is you can change the density of this, right? So if you do that, you know, you can see that it does change the density. Now, one thing about the density, though, is that if you do it too much, right? And by the way, if you zoom in, that's, that's some pretty good looking grass. As a person who had to mow the grass, from his parents' house on a pretty big yard. You know, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just gonna do that here. So nevertheless, um, yeah, when it comes to uh, when it comes to density, you can bait. If you do it too much, you might and it, it might end up being too resource intensive. Um, meaning that if it's too resource intensive, it's gonna lag the game. Okay, you always have to be no matter no matter what. You always have to do that here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the size of, of this a bit, and I'm just gonna kind of basically paint this here just like so and then one more here and then kind of just make sure everything's good to go and there we go and I think that's looking pretty good and again you still have that problem of uh, well there's and there's a couple things you can do so you can you can still see there's a bit of holes so you can maybe fill those up a bit but what you most likely should do is if, if you do select the area here and not the grass part, but the actual terrain. And I believe uh, if we find that here, landscape, I, there we go. It's the landscape here. Uh, you want the material to be the grass material. Okay. And, you know, if, even if you're making a mobile game, like if you want to have these level of graphics in your mobile game, like it's going to be a lot here and and you know what my my fan is starting to go on my computer so this is probably a bit too much grass okay so as you can see the grass is pretty good uh, it is lagging a bit so that's probably just a little bit too much so you do you would have to change your settings a bit but nevertheless you know it looks like we do have somewhat of a grassland going here all right there you go again thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe the more subscribers we get the more content we can make all right thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video